Today is going to be like a really great day. I'm doing a painting that I really, I really like from like three or four months ago. Had a lot of requests to do this. Originally, it was going to be sold as like a digital download um, for like 15 bucks or something like that. Just like a very detailed tutorial. I decided I'm going to do it right here today, but for free, no charge. So hope you guys follow along. Hope you guys like it. We're almost going to be at 10,000 subs here really soon. We're like, I think 80 something hundred right now. That is totally awesome. So make sure that you subscribe, turn the bell on, share this with your friends, family, everybody you can possibly think of because at 10,000, I'm giving away a humongous painting for free, shipping included, everything. It's just gonna be totally free. It's a beautiful landscape. I'll show that at some point in time before I give it away. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead, get started. Just such a great day, such a great day. So grab your paintbrushes, get your palettes and paper towels and all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and get started. Totally cool. Here's the colors. Like always, the same colors that we use every single time. I'll put them in the description below. They're gambling colors and you see them here. I got this clear stuff right here, this clear little gel. I'm gonna go ahead and set this palette down. I'm gonna scrub this stuff on real quick. This is just gonna help, help the paint slide around. So I'm gonna probably make some kind of like, you're not gonna be able to see this, but I'm making a little line right there. And I'm gonna go work in this color, this color, it's not a color. I'm gonna work this stuff in just like this and scrub it in circles. And I'm kind of like really, I'm really grinding. I'm really grinding away at this here. Put some there, over here. And this is gonna take a minute to do this, but it helps. It helps, it, it, it's better than trying to scrub dry paint around the canvas. This is a 16 by 20 canvas. I make a lot of these canvases. I didn't make this one, but I do make a lot of them. And I just think they, I just think they're better when you make them. So I'm not doing anything special here. I'm just doing little circles. Come up here in the corner. And you don't want to put too much of this stuff on. This is clear gel. It's made by Gamblin. I love Gamblin products. I love their products. Definitely love them. Just continuing here with these little tiny baby circles. I think that should be just about good right there. And if you do happen to put too much on this, you can actually take a paper towel and you could just give it like a quick wipe down. You know what I mean? You can do that and then be 100% sure. All right, so I'm gonna grab this palette real quick here. And I'm gonna grab, let me just put a little bit more right there. All right, I'm just wiping this off down here. All right, so let's do first the background, which is a green, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna use, maybe I'll try to hold this up. It's just really hard to hold this up all the time. So I'm gonna do green, green, brown, and a little bit of yellow. Let's see how this color looks. And I'm just gonna swirl this color around actually for a few minutes, like little circles and stuff. And then we're gonna blend it too, so. And this is just gonna give like a little, little illusion of a nice little background going on. There's like some trees and different things happening. So I'm just doing circles and gonna come down to this. this. is that little line I was talking about a minute ago, but we're gonna put a darker color down there. So I'm gonna go over here, <clears throat> get a little bit of black, more green. And see, yeah, that's, that's kind of dark. I can lighten that up by just scrubbing it upward. some yellow, yellow ochre. There's a big tree going in the middle here. <clears throat> some green in here.
And honestly, this is like, this is one of those paintings that like anybody can do this. Like anybody, if you, <clears throat> if you've never painted before, you can, this is like something you can do. It's so easy to do this, you know, so you just can follow along here and just, yeah, have at it, you know, go to town. Just putting a little bit more of a darker color right there. So I don't know how many of you guys actually paint, but why don't you leave me a comment? Leave me a comment down below for all the people that, that are painters on here. Let me know what you like painting. Do you like using oil? Do you like using acrylic better? You know, what, what is it that you like? <coughs> I'd, be, uh, <clears throat> I'd be interested to know what, uh, what, you know what medium you like to use. So I'm just gonna wipe this off real quick, this one inch here on this paper towel. Instead of grabbing a clean one, I'm just going to go like this. Little circles maybe here like this. And I'm not too worried about right here because there's a lot of branches and leaves and all kinds of stuff going on up here. I just want to smooth it out just a little bit to get rid of any like real hard lines or anything like that. Okay, now I'm just going to take actually a little tiny bit of white paint on here and I'm just going to lighten this up right there. That's where I put that yellow, that yellow ochre color. I just want to make it where it's not so vibrant because this is like in the distance. This will just help soften it up a little bit. And we got our dark color here and we'll end up putting like some highlights and different things on that when we get a little bit further down. Okay. I'm going to grab me, all right, grab a filbert brush and we're going to put, already we're going to start putting the trunk in to this painting. So this is what I do when I make a tree trunk. Here is blue, black, and brown. So I always do this. I always just take brown th to start the tree trunk and a little bit of black and I mix them. And that gives like a nice, gives like a nice base color for a tree trunk. It's not like a, a solid brown color and it's not a solid black. It's like something in between. So I want this to go there. I'm just going to throw this in. I'm not too worried about the top here because there's a lot of leaves and stuff going on up there. So I'm just getting more brown. So I can put a few little like bumps on here. There's one right there. There's some roots there. And one comes down like this, that. Okay, I'm just grabbing some more of that same color and I'm going to put in a little branch right there, still using the filbert brush. There's one there and there's one just like this. One there, and then there's like some stuff coming up here. We're not going to really see this, but I'm going to put it here anyways. There's going to be a bunch of leaves over top of that. There's 
one there, and then there's one that comes up just like this. Okay, boom. And then this here, so we'll do, I always do this. Let me get some more color here. If this comes down like this, make a little sketch. And you can always change this too if you want, but I like doing this. This is yeah, just a sketch to help us figure out you know where we're going. So it's like a little stream or something down here. And this starts off right there like that. Okay. All right, next. Next, next, next. Just take the same old filbert. Wiping that off. Boom. Blue and black. Here we go. Let's get a little pile of blue, a little pile of this black right here, and green. Mix them. Simple. Blue, black, green. Equal piles. And then we can start putting in little tree leaves and stuff. This is an awesome, cool little color. I'm just tapping and doing this. And when we get to the outer sides, we can like be like more little detailed and stuff. So I'll just do this for a few minutes. Here. There's a lot of leaves up here, so I'm going to go like this, actually. I'm going to scrub some of the bigger areas, and it'll just help it go in quicker, save us some time, and then we'll refine this in a minute. And that comes all the way this way. Comes out like that. Blue, black, and green is all you need for this. The, dot, the, the, the top is very, very dark up here. And then it gets to this little bluey color. Put this guy in here. So I'm just getting all the bigger areas put in. And then I'll put little, little baby ones on the outside. Just like this. This comes over and it goes right onto the trunk. I'm not going to do any of the highlighting yet until I get these leaves in because it would be pointless. All right, there was like a little branch right here actually. Just, I'd use the black and blue and green, but that's okay. I'm not worried about that. I'm just really just kind of scrubbing this in. I'm just making all kinds of like weird random shapes. And I'm just getting more blue, black, and green. All right, we're going to put some leaves here. there 
And if you want, you could actually just fast forward this part, skip it, because this is just like the same old repetitive stuff. And I just like doing a little tapping on the edges. Just like that. And then I'm going to cover up some of these trunk areas real quick with some just some blue and black. Because this here, we're going to put highlights over top of these. Don't really want to see them too much because there's just a lot of leaves here. Just like this. Okay. All right, so that's that. We're going to move on to doing some highlighting next. So what I want to do before I go too far, I'm going to get some more of this blue color, blue and green and maybe a little bit of brown. So blue, green, and brown. I just want to start filling in some of these areas here. So I'm going to start, I'm going to start towards the bottom here like this. It's like a little hill right here. I just want to put some of this darker color in. Same thing here. And just work your way back. And there's nothing down here. It's, it's completely dry. So it's a little bit tough to do this. It takes a few minutes. But what this will do is we'll you know put our highlight colors on and it'll just really it'll really stand out. It'll look really nice. Alright, so I need some just some green for here. Ochre. I don't spend too much time doing doing this here or put too much thought in it because you know I just put the lighter colors on top and that's where I, I spend all my time at. See look it looks like a little bush right? Something like that. Maybe there's one there. Just making little bushes. <laughs> looks pretty cool. Or you can just get some of that color down and you can go like this. This will help fill in some of those white areas on the canvas, you know what I mean? I'll probably have to add some more up there. And we'll highlight this tree next. Let me just get this other side done here. Some more black, blue, and green. Put some of that color here. Okay, perfect. So yeah, make sure that you leave me a comment down below let me know what you like to what you like to use like what what paint do you use is there anything that you found to be better you know than, <clears throat> than other types of paint I like gambling paint so that's what I like what's your favorite kind of paint okay we got that there all right so I'm not going to move on to this area yet the highlights <coughs> But let me just do one thing. Let me get some blue. 
I'm going to get some blue, black, and white. Blue, black, and white. I just want to throw some of this color down. I'm not going to use all this color. It's going to be darker and lighter and darker and lighter. But I just want to get some of it here. And what I'll do is I'll like work on the edges afterwards. You know, like fine tune these little edges right here. I'm grabbing this one inch here again. It's got a little bit of dark in it, which that's that's okay. And I'm just going to go like this real quick. Let's just spread this stuff around. Some of that dark's going to come off, and that's going to be cool. I just figured let's get this done real quick. And if we have to extend any of that dark color back in, we could totally do that. Just step back real quick. All right, so that gives us like our little idea right there. That's like everything is pretty much blocked in right now. So that's like the most important part. Let me just get some of this. Uh, I'm going to get some here. Pull it right off the palette. I just want to get some of this darker color into the little stream or whatever this thing is going to be. Just pull it right down. like that. A little bit more, a little bit more dark. Pop a little brown in there too. I think that'll look nice. I was talking about, I'll show you. When I said we can shape it up a little bit if we need to, watch. Blue, some blue, black, and more of that green. And then we can come right back up in here like this and put our little hill back in, or you know, whatever we had here. Just drop down like this. Okay. Some more dark color here. That's what I was talking about right there. You know, just kind of like fixing it up a little bit. some of this green like this. Straighten that up a little bit. Maybe these are like little hilly areas too right there. I always like to get the perspective right, or, you know, as close as possible. And then we step back a little bit. And then I think, after looking at this, i got to do this. Make it smaller here. 
like this. And it just kind of trickles down and well, yeah, perfect. Just got to put some darker color right here now. back to this guy here. And this is just a process of doing, you know, this is the process that you just, you just fine tune stuff until you're happy with it. That's what I do. Always works for me. All right, cool. So that's like a nice little water area right there. I think I just want to have this one more thing, right? come out like this. Just like that. A little darker color in there. And then maybe, since we have that there, I'll put a little dark here like this. And we could probably put a little water spilling over in here when we get to that point. Cool. All right, we'll adjust that as we go. Okay, where are we? Okay, back to the tree. All right, so back to the tree, back to the tree. So I'm gonna take some black and I'm gonna go like this. Start working on this uh, little tree trunk right here. Put some of these darks in because we used like a little bit of black in there, but that'll look good. Darken that right side of the tree up. And put a little bit more. Put some there. Okay, you can't see that yet. That's okay though. All right, I'm going to set this filbert down and I'm going to switch to a smaller synthetic round brush and I'm going to grab brown and white. Start with brown and white and yellow ochre. Brown, white, and yellow ochre. And we'll start mixing some of this color in. I'm going to start on the left side. And I'm going to just put on the left side of the tree Some of these highlights right here. Light, I'm thinking the light's coming from this way, so I'm gonna go just like this. And then I can come back and work off the edges and work it into the tree. A little bit at a time. this branch right there. And this is not the brightest color. This is just like one of the first highlights. And it's brown, white, and yellow ochre. Okay. And I'm just kind of shaping the, the tree trunk. You know, the bark and all that stuff. I'm using a synthetic because the paint really comes off of this nice and easy. Where if you used like a filbert or something like that, it would it would cut into the other layer of paint. <clears throat> so I'm going to take this same brush and I'm just going to work like feather the back edges off so there's not real any hard lines. Boom, just like that. Alright, I'm 
wiping that out. So now I'm just going to take some yellow ochre and white. Yellow ochre and white, like 50-50 mix. some of this on now. Go I'll start on the once again I'm gonna start on the very outside. I'm gonna keep coming down I'm gonna keep getting more. Cause I'm picking up some of that dirty color. Let me step back and take a look at that real quick. All right, that looks pretty good. I'm just going to add a little bit of more, a little, little bit more of this uh, nice bright color here. I'm going to switch to a different uh, brush. Okay, wipe that one off, and then I think I'm going to try to grab three-quarter flat. Let's do that. Okay, I'm going to grab a pile of white paint. I'm getting white and a little bit of yellow, cad yellow. some of this right like in there maybe some right there this will just give like little textures and stuff something different something different all right I'm going to actually wipe this off real quick. Just wipe that off. And I'm going to hit these. I always hit like the back edges. Like I soften up, you know, what I just did. And I always do that. All right. I'm actually going to switch back to that small deep that synthetic and I'm gonna grab some just some brown brown and yeah brown and white I want to try to get just a little bit more brown in here in this tree maybe a little bit of red too that'll be cool give it a little bit more color not too much though because it'll it'll definitely uh, not look right if you put too much in that off. Wipe that off and just use it dry for a minute. Fix some of this little area here. Go back to our yellow ochre color. Some more of that right there. Just a little bit more bright color to be right there. I'm just being like super like loose about this too. Just 
branch comes in like this and goes like that. I keep stepping back to just to see like where we're at. And then, oh, then we can do this. This is what I was wanting to do. I'm going to take that same, same brush. I'm going to get a pile of blue and black. Blue and black. And then we can go like this. This kind of helps. Dropping some of these darks in. You can play around, you know, with this. You can dark and light, and more dark and more light. And, you know, until you're until you're satisfied with it. All right, I'm going to wipe this off again. And now I'm going to mix up another color. I'm going to take a little bit of blue, a little bit of blue and white. Now I don't want to use too much of this color because this is one of the other colors you know, that won't look right if there's too much. So I just want to put some of this on the back side of this tree here. Maybe like reflected light. And we can drop some in. You know, little little tiny lines. This just helps, like, with you know, details and stuff. I'm actually going to add just a little little bump in the back of this tree here just to give it a little bit more shape and character and all that stuff. Put some down there. All right, let me wipe this off and see where we're at. Let's see, where are we? All right, looks like I'm going to go and get some white paint here, white and yellow ochre and we need some more like more highlights on this tree so let's do that put some there i'm just kind of globbing it on holding it sideways like this making it look like rough, like dabbing it and patting it and doing all kinds of stuff. All right, go back in here once again. I just wipe this off. I'm going to drag some of this color just so there's no straight lines on the edges. Just like this. Make a little branch there maybe, or like a, just an indication of some stuff. All right, I'm going to set both of these down real quick, and I'm going to grab. I'm going to grab some black and brown. I'm just using the knife. Black and brown. I just want to get some texture built up in here. And I'm just carefully, you know, tapping and dragging and. All that good stuff.
And some of it's going over top of the highlight. That's cool. Because that's just going to going to help it look like it's just got more texture on it. Oh, that looks cool. take that same little pile of that brown and I'm going to get just a little bit of a like a little bit of white and put in it just to make it just a lighter brown. I'm going to see how this looks real quick. I'm going to just scrape over a little bit more lighter than that. I just want a light brown. I just want to scrape over some of these high areas and see if this will stick to it. Oh yeah. Cool. That's what I was exactly what I was looking for. Right there. Put some up there. There. You know, maybe that tree goes all the way up. Well, it does go all the way up, but we just can't see it. <laughs> see, I'm holding the knife so light I almost dropped it. Okay. I'm just getting some more white paint. more of a lighter color. a quick way, you know what I mean? Just a quick way to get some stuff up in there. Okay, let me just wipe my knife off so I can get some of this darker color again. <laughs> This tree has so much texture <laughs> texture on it. It's amazing. But I just want it to look like this old, you know, this old tree. Dead old oak tree or something. I keep stepping back to see how see how it looks. All right, one last thing, grabbing the knife and some white paint mixed with yellow ochre, yellow ochre and white. It's a very bright color. All right. I just want to hit some of this. This will just bring out all the cool stuff. I get out on this edge right here. <clears throat> Scrape that little piece up right there. Just take a look and see how that looks. <clears throat> okay. Let me just see how a little bit of just pure white might sparkle it up right in the, the area where the light is shining. Just a little bit of pure white.
and you could just do all kinds of stuff. Like you can, if you want, you can go right back into this, like the brown, if you want. And you could put brown back in here. I mean, there's just so many things that you can do. You know, if you don't think you have enough brown in there, or whatever, you can do anything that you want to do. But I think uh, I think that's good. I I totally went more overboard on this tree than I thought I was going to go. So it's just got a bunch of cool texture in it. Now I'm going to go ahead and grab this three quarter. Now we put all this dark color in here. So I'm going to get me some yellow on the palette over here. All right, and some green, maybe. Yeah, yellow and green. And I'm gonna start just putting in the highlight colors here. And I'm using a three quarter. Let's see, I might change it, we'll see. Let's see how this works. So I just wanna hit out on the edges, and just change that color. You can tap with this thing. But I'm not like hitting in the same spot too much. I'm just kind of setting it down and going to a different spot. See? Or you could do like this, like a little, like a little comma, if you want. It wasn't too much up here. I'm just going to get some of this color established here. It's real dark over in this area here too. There wasn't like a whole lot in the other picture. It was more focused on that side. So let me just get a darker green here. I, I will put some leaves in here. I'm going to switch brushes too in a minute. I'm using the corner here, you know, just to help get little other little leaves and stuff going on. I'm going to wipe this off. And I think I'm going to try to use this small one. All right, so I'm just going to try yellow and white on this small synthetic and see how this looks. I'm just going to add like smaller little little leaves and stuff in. This is normally like, you know, the part that's like, you know, it's a process and time consuming, but I'm gonna see if I can do it just a little bit quicker, hopefully. And I gotta keep it going down and getting more, more paint because I'm picking up some of the other stuff that's underneath like the blues and all that stuff. And also with this, 
Um, there isn't too much, this isn't like all over the picture. There's some over here, you know, and where I was working here. But if you put this everywhere, it's gonna, it's really gonna kill the, you know, the nice little lighting effect of it. I learned that the hard way so many times. So I'm just going to, you know, dab some of this on like this. I just keep stepping back to look at this to see how it actually looks. Looks all right. I'm going to get some actually just some yellow here with no white in it right now. And we got the light coming there. So I just want to put a little bit here. I'm making these little comma marks. bit darker in here. Same with down there. Now I'm just like, I'm just tapping, I'm just taking the paint. I'm, I'm tapping around like this. That looks pretty good, I think. Okay. All right, back to the yellow and let's use white. yellow and white. We'll hit this a few more times, put some right in here. Maybe put one there like this. You just got to play around with this and see what looks good, you know. too much light over here so just drop one or two and maybe lights coming that way all right I'm gonna wipe this off one more time and then I'm gonna grab pure white I think yeah well there's a little bit of yellow in it but just hit this up with some pure white with a little bit of yellow I'm just gonna glop it on a few this is a lot of paint on this thing so Tons of it. A lot of paint. And I'm like spinning it around and stuff. Tapping little baby leaves in. I think here's what I want to do. I want to grab some yellow ochre and put a few spots of that in. I think that'll be cool. But not too much. It just changes it so it's not all these different little greens. I put some there. There maybe. <clears throat> Just like gives it variation, that's all it does, which is cool. Maybe there's some up there.
Perfect. All right. I'm just wiping this off. All right, and now this is where we're going to move right down to the bottom now. How do I want to do this? All right, so probably let me grab that dirty brush. I'm gonna, I just want to throw some of this grass in. And you guys probably know already how I like making grass. I like using the, you know, the one inch or the two inch or whatever. And I, I do like tapping the grass in. Everybody's different. I like tapping it in. So I'm going to start right about here. I'm going to go like this because that runs right up. There's like a little hill right there. I'm going to go like this. I'm just basically putting in, you know, the basic grassy areas. <clears throat> drops down here like this. I'll put on lighter color in a minute. I'm just kind of mapping this out right now. This one here comes up and it drops right down. Just like that. So that looks like a little hill right there. That's good. And then this here kind of runs off like this. Right like that. All right, so there's one side. Same thing over here. Nothing special, just a little bit of grass. downhill like there's just like a bunch of cool little hills and then let's do this last one here all right you get the basic idea right you get the idea wiping this off real quick and I'm going to get some yellow and yeah, mainly just yellow and I'm going to brighten up a little bit of this area here because this is where the light is shining on our tree sort of it's coming this way this. I don't want to overdo this either, so I'm just putting a little bit in. And I'm like softening the bottom and stuff. All right. Because I want to retain that. I just want to keep that nice, bright feeling going on. So I'm just going to put a little bit more back here. Cause this is where it's shining for sure. There's a lot of paint on here too, by the way. <laughs> maybe there's maybe there's a little bit right there. Can you get some here? There, maybe. All right, so there's that. Go over to this side. Can't be as bright, so I'm going to put some yellow, yellow ochre in it. And I'm going to hit right a little bit brighter than that. Hit right about there.
this is just how I do it, you know. Um, everybody's different. Everybody's different. You know, you may have another way you like to put it on. But this is just how I like it. Okay, we just have to work with this area right here. I, did, I left that kind of empty with the tree branches or the bark, the bottom of it. Could probably use a fan brush for that, but I'm going to try something. I'm going to have it growing up the tree like this. You know, like a little hill maybe or something right there. Just it kind of sets the tree down, you know what I mean? Actually, I'm going to get some yellow ochre. That'll be a good color to do that with. I'm going to go just like this. There we go. We got some bushes over here. We might as well hit those while we're at it. So I'm just going to get some yellow. Yellows, pretty much not a real bright yellow. And I'm just going to go like this. Just tap a little something on here. I don't want these to really stand out too much. Take the focus off of this tree. I don't really want that. So here's some stuff in the back. You know, whatever you want it to be, it is. That's how I always look at it. Extend those up a little bit, maybe. All right, next. Set that down. Got to do something here. So let me grab. I'll try a filbert. I got to get some dark color. So I'm going to get some blue, blue and black. And I just want to try to, light's coming that way. Put something in here like this. This is just going to hopefully show show like some movement happening. That's that's all I'm looking for here to show some kind of movement. So we got that there. Get some more black in here. I might put a little bit of water spilling over right here, maybe. So put something right there now. We'll see. All right. Grabbing a fan brush. Fan brush. White paint. A little bit of blue in it. Kind of stay to this side because that's where the light would be.
down here, a little bit more pain on here now. Maybe we'll have something dropping down like this. This was just like a last minute idea that <laughs> that wasn't there at all. this up a little bit and put some white paint on there. Like that. Boom. I'm just gonna take some of this to make it look like it's water rushing something. <laughs> and then let me actually put something back there because who knows, maybe that's where the water is coming from. <laughs> maybe that's where it's coming from, who knows. Maybe it's rough down here. I don't know. Who knows what it is? <laughs> I'm just doing, at this point, I, the thing was about the tree, really. This is like, this could be anything, you know? This, I could have spent, you could spend more time. Sometimes you got to spend a little bit more time on water. Getting some more white here. Put some nice little stuff happening. Maybe there's some here. Some up there, little ones. And then, if you want, go like this. Come back through with the knife. And this will just help a little bit with movement. Kind of show the water coming down and then like this to that side and then gets to there and then it just spills right over. But since I just did that, I'm going to get some more and get some more of the lighter color in here. Them down here. And over here would be pretty dark, so a little bit of shadow over there. You wouldn't have too much happening over there. Make that even right there. Yeah, and you could just like do all kinds of stuff if you want. You <clears throat> keep going, change this, change that. Do all that stuff. And then I do want to show one thing. So this is dark here, right? If you want to like say you want to make a little like rocks and stuff, you guys probably already know how to do this. Just take a little bit of brown, a little bit of brown and white, and then you could just go like this mix some of this in there just like a tiny bit it'll it'll help give the the feel of like little rocks and stuff see you know put something there like this perfect put 
put some coming down like that there if you want. Just put them anywhere. That wasn't planned either, but I just figured I'd show you. Be rocks all over the place. A little highlight on these guys since I did them. Then you can just like rub around the edges and stuff, blend them right into the right into the grass. I'm just going to step back here and take a look at this. Stepping back, taking a look really helps out a lot. <coughs> All right, cool. All right, well, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. You know, I've been waiting a couple months to do this. I, I told you in the beginning I was going to make an actual video, a more detailed video that I was going to try to sell or whatever because people had asked for it and I'd have to have multiple different cameras and, and stuff like that. So I ended up not doing it. This was just a quick old, uh, you know, just a quick painting. I hope you guys, I hope you guys do enjoy these because, you know, that's why I make them. I don't make these for money or anything like that. I make this because I, I do like doing it and I hope to help somebody. So, you know, share this with a friend or a family member or somebody and maybe, maybe it'll help them. Maybe it won't, but maybe it'll just be fun to watch. I don't know, but I'm, I'm trying to get better as time goes. I'm trying to like upgrade this and that and, and change things to make it look just a little bit better for you guys. So make sure you like and subscribe and definitely share, you know, and, and come back for that 10,000 subscriber video because I'm giving away a really nice painting. So I hope you guys have a great week. Um, if I don't see you, enjoy your weekend. Hopefully I'll see you before then. But if not, we'll see you next time. Take care. See ya.